Welcome to another phonology class. We're going to cover rule notation, writing, writing rule notation. Okay, I'm going to check in at home. Yes, and that will be the end of unit three. Okay, so unit three is super, super important. Why? Because unit four depends on unit three. Okay, so I need you to master reading and writing rules. Okay, we're going to check them now. Okay, the first one vowels become nasalized so I could write a nasal vowel like this or I could write nasal vowel like this so the one that you find the easiest nasal vowel like this okay so either way is okay become nasalized in the environment of between nasal consonants okay oops i need to change the font nasal consonant and then another nasal consonant there so vowels oh, I need to enlarge this I never remember to do that vowels become nasalized and here's the nasal vowel in the environment of between nasal consonants. That was what you were supposed to do. Number four. Number five. The voiceless interdental fricative sound. I need to change my font again. The voiceless interdental fricative. This one? It, voiceless interdental fricative. Yeah. Correct. Then becomes voiceless labiodental fricative voiceless labiodental fricative this one like this the voiceless interdental fricative becomes voiceless interdental labiodental fricative like this and finally number six let me see the voiceless alveolar Oh, let me see. <clears throat> the voiceless alveolar fricative. Voiceless alveolar fricative. This one? No, fricative. This one. Voiceless alveolar fricative. This one. Becomes. What does it become? It becomes voice. after vowels in the environment of after vowels like this remember there are many ways of doing it comma voiceless palatal fricative voiceless palatal fricative Shh. okay so Shh. there in what environment? Voiceless palatal fricative before high back vowels. Before change font again. Before high back vowels. A high back vowel is an E and an O, so just write high high. back vowel like this and remains the same elsewhere so it is still an s elsewhere 
Remember, elsewhere means in any other context that is not after a vowel and before a high back vowel in any other context, like this. And that would be it. Okay? You need to read your textbook where rules are. And that would be the end of, oops, of unit 3. Okay, that would be it. Right? So, goodbye then.